started. So uh, welcome once again to everybody to today's lesson. Uh, my name is Alastair. I'm your uh, teacher for today's lesson. So here it is. It's called Crafting a Memorable uh, Self-Presentation. Okay, well, let's have a look at uh, today's content. Here we go. So we have our agenda here. We're going to have an introduction and then we're going to look at uh, ways to greet greetings. And then we're going to look at ways to talk about our background, our history, and then also ways to talk about our interests or hobbies. Okay, so here is the introduction. So introducing yourself in a business context, creating a compelling professional introduction. Okay, so we have a, a translation for that in French there. I'm going to read it again in English for you to hear. Introducing yourself in a business context, uh, creating a compelling professional introduction. A strong professional introduction creates a positive first impression in a business context. It establishes credibility and helps to build rapport with colleagues, clients or partners. OK, now there may be things that you want to remember from today. So feel free to make notes or to take screenshots of the lesson as we continue. There will, of course, be the video to review later on the CDL website. But please feel free to write down your own notes during the class. This helps to reinforce uh, the learning process. So when we want to make a good self-presentation, uh, a great way to start is with a good greeting. So we're going to look at greetings. So introductions, a friendly and professional tone is important. Okay, now we have some other uh, greetings here. We've got hello, hi, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. These are very acceptable greetings in English. Now, these are easy greetings. These are very common greetings used in all contexts. So we've got two columns here. I'm going to read through the English. Have a look at the, the uh, French next to it as we read through. So we've got hello, hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how are you, nice to meet you, greetings, hi there, welcome. Okay, so these are all different ways to greet and you may hear that my tone changes a little bit with these because there is a natural tone to some of these. So I'm going to read through again. Have a listen to my tone. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you? Nice to meet you. Greetings. Hi there. Welcome. Okay. Well, these are all easy greetings. Now we're going to continue. Let's have a look at our next screen. And these are more advanced greetings that we can use. OK, so these are expressions and combinations. So let's have a read through of these. Have a listen. Uh, good to see you. How have you been? 
It's a pleasure to meet you. Greetings and salutations. Welcome aboard. I appreciate your time. How's everything on your end? Best regards. Okay, so let's have a read through of those again. Have a little listen. Good to see you. How have you been? It's a pleasure to meet you. Greetings and salutations. Welcome aboard. I appreciate your time. How's everything on your end? Best regards. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the next. Okay, so we're going to have a think about um, personal introductions, how we can actually introduce ourselves clearly and professionally in English. Okay, so introduce yourself by saying, my name is, and mention your position or role at the company. It is common and effective practice in professional setting for several reasons. Okay, so this kind of introduction is common and effective in professional settings for several reasons. The first is clarity. Clearly stating your name helps others remember and address you correctly. Number two, networking. Providing your name and position facilitates connections. Okay, now let's have a think about how we introduce ourselves related to the company that we work for. So, Number one, share information about the company you work for. Number two, example, I work at XYZ Corporation, a leading company in, we add the industry there. Okay, so I work at the XYZ Corporation, a leading company in, Okay, so here we go. We've got some introduction examples here. We're going to read through this. Have a listen. Number one. Hello, I'm Alex Rodriguez and I work as a project manager in our technology division. Number two. Hi there, I'm Emily Chen and I hold the position of financial analyst in the accounting department. Number three, greetings. I'm James Anderson, and I'm the sales representative for our international clients in the export department. Okay, so we've got an exercise for you guys to try if you want to. Uh, now write an example for you in the chat. If it's a little difficult, don't worry. You can try it after the conference. Okay, so um, for example, I could write, um, hello. I'm just going to write my introduction into the chat. So, hello. I'm Alastair Priddle. And I work as a private teacher for an international language school. Okay, so that's great. So we've got another example there. 
Um, hello, my name is Jan Celine, and I work as a sworn translator. Nice to meet you all. Okay, what a lovely introduction. Uh, another one here. Hello, I'm Geraldine, and I work as a therapist. Okay, so these are good ways to introduce ourselves and break the uh, break the ice when we meet people. So if anyone else wishes to have a go, there we go. We've got another one here. Hi there. I'm, I'm Alan, sales manager for an insurance company. Great. Fantastic, guys. OK, so we've got this idea of how to introduce ourselves. OK, well, we're going to have a look at uh, something else. We're going to take this uh, one step further now. And we're going to talk about our background after we've made our introduction. OK, so we're going to talk about origin and background. OK, so we mention your country or city of origin. OK, now we've got some vocabulary on the next pages. If you want to take notes, please do. Um, you can also make a screenshot or refer back to the recording of this lesson later. Okay, so here we go. We've got a table here of origin and background. Okay, so we've got columns uh, in English and in French, uh, both for countries and nationalities. So I'm going to read through the columns in English to start with. OK, so have a little listen and compare these countries and nationalities. OK, so I'm going to go from each line through. OK, so the first one there, United States, the nationality of the United States, American. Then we've got Canada, Canadian. United Kingdom, British, France, French, Germany, German, Italy, Italian, Japan, Japanese, China, Chinese, Brazil, Brazilian, Australia, Australian. OK, so these countries show origin and background, countries and nationalities. Now, we can use these to help talk about our own background, both personal and professional. OK, so we've got some more vocabulary here. This time we're going to talk about the sector, the industry sector in which we work. OK, so again, we've got two columns, one in English, one in French. So you can correspond the vocabulary as I talk through. So let's have a look at this uh, vocabulary for industry sectors. Information technology. Healthcare. Finance education, manufacturing, retail, hospitality, transportation, energy, marketing. OK, well, I'm going to read through those sectors again. So have a listen again. Information technology, healthcare, finance, education, manufacturing, retail, hospitality, transportation, energy, marketing. OK, well, let's have a little look at the next screen. Here we go. OK, so what we've got here is uh, a formula, again, a structure to make this kind of introduction about our background. 
OK, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write one for myself. And if you guys want to write one, too, that's absolutely fine. So our structure there, we can start with. I'm originally from eh, and I've been working in eh, for eh, years. OK, so for example, uh, I'm going to uh, write that one, too. OK. OK, so please have a go if you wish. So I'm originally from England. And I've been working I've been working in education for five years. OK, so that's an example. I don't know if anyone else wants to try that structure again. So, for example, mine is I'm originally from England and I've been um, <laughs> I've been working in education for five years. So, thank you, Alan. So Alan said, sorry, but since January the 1st, I've been retired. Oh, well, congratulations to you. Yeah, that sounds good. OK, um, but this is a, a way that we can introduce that. But of course, you can say that. OK, well, we've got some more here. Thanks very much. Let's have a look at this next one. I'm originally from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil but I've been living in France for 32 years and I've been working as a translator for 15 years. Fantastic. What a great way to uh, give information about your origin and background. Fantastic. OK, well, we're going to have a look at some more. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else is um, entering any information. Oh, we've got another one. I'm originally from Grenoble. Thank you. And I've been working in healthcare for three years. Fantastic. OK, thanks, Geraldine. Well, we're going to continue. We're going to bring up the next little uh, example. OK, so this one is again about origin. OK, and this is my detailed example. OK, so we've got let's have a look at. Um, at this. So, hello, my name is. Alastair. And I'd like to share a bit about my origin and background. OK, now, when we look at this structure, there are some missing words, but I'm going to read through the structure first. OK, so I'm originally from a country or city, a place known for its. OK, known for what? Uh, I need to mention a notable characteristic culture or industry and I've been working in the mm. field for mm. years okay oh great we've got another one from Bernard as well from before thank you and Sabrina great so Sabrina said I am originally from Algeria and I've been working as a teacher uh, as a teacher of kids for two years. Fantastic. Uh, and Bernard, I'm from France and I've been working as a data center construction project director for Amazon in Paris. Great, great sentences, guys. Well done. OK, so what I'm going to do, you can see the uh, translation of these structures. Uh, I've prepared my own little one here, so I'm going to write it into the chat for you. Um, here we go. So I'm originally from Reading in England. OK, so um, a place known for its brewery, brasserie and annual music festival. Ooh. 
I've been working in teaching for five years. Okay, so I'm originally from Reading in England, a place known for its brewery and annual music festival. I've been working in teaching for five years. Okay, so this is a more detailed uh, introduction to our background. Okay, well, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so on our next screen, we're going to think about how to describe our responsibilities. Okay, so which responsibilities do you have for your job? Okay, well, I'm going to read through these responsibilities in English have a listen and compare those uh, translations. Okay, and then if you want to, write in the chat which responsibilities do you have for your job? Okay, so we've got some examples here. Project management, customer service, financial analysis, sales and marketing, human resources, IT support, research and development, administrative support. Okay, so which of those responsibilities describes your job, if any? Okay, I'm going to read through again. If you want to write into the chat, please do. Okay, so have a listen. Project management, customer service, financial analysis, sales and marketing, human resources, IT support, research and development, administrative support. Okay, so these are all responsibilities. So thank you, Geraldine. Let's have a read. In my previous job, I worked in customer service for 15 years. Okay. And Jan Celine, I'm originally from Rio, a place known for its famous carnival, that's true, and beaches. And I've been working as a sworn translator for 15 years. And uh, Bernard has all these responsibilities. Wow. So perhaps Bernard uh, has his own company and he has to do everything himself. He's the project manager. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think so. Uh, he does everything. So I imagine that Bernard is an entrepreneur of some description. OK, well, we're going to continue. We'll have a look at it a little bit more uh, vocabulary and expressions to help us create a good self presentation. OK, so we're going to think some more about uh, job responsibilities, job roles. OK. Not an entrepreneur, but a lucky man. OK, if you say so. OK, so let's have a look at example. Um, job responsibilities. Number one, I manage social media accounts and create content for our marketing campaigns. OK, I manage social media accounts and create content for our marketing campaigns. OK. Let's have a look at another. OK, so we're going to have a look at a second uh, example of how to introduce your background. OK, so again, I'm going to use my own example here. Now, the structure is uh, in my current role as I oversee key responsibilities that revolve around this involves where I collaborate closely with. OK, so uh, I'm going to write down my example for this. Uh, perhaps have a think about how you can describe your background in terms of responsibilities. OK. So in my current role as 
an English language teacher. I oversee responsibilities. I oversee responsibilities that revolve around planning individual and group lessons. This involves assessment and evaluation with students and other teachers. Okay, there we go. So it's quite a long uh, responsibility introduction there. Okay, so in my current role as a sworn translator, I oversee key responsibilities that revolve around confidentiality and respecting a timetable. Okay, fantastic. What a great description. Okay, well done, Johnson. So yeah, this is a uh, needs a little bit of extra uh, attention, but um, very well done. Um, now we are going to have a little look at the next screen. Here we go. Okay. Now we can also share about our educational background. For example, uh, I studied. Uh, uh, uh. For example, it could be uh, a particular subject at a particular particular university or college. But it's another way that we can share information about ourselves. We can talk about our educational background. OK, so we've got a couple of examples here. Number one, uh, I studied economics at Harvard University where I learnt market dynamics. Okay. Or number two, I completed my education in information technology at Boston College, developing skills in software applications. Okay. So some good examples there of how we can share information about our educational background. OK, now there's something else that we can use to share information in our self presentation, and those are interests. OK, and when we talk about uh, hobbies or interests, this helps to uh, break the ice. OK, so breaking the ice. Talking about your popular ho hobbies can break the ice and start to build relationships. Also, you can discuss a couple of your hobbies or interests related to the business context. For instance, in my free time, I enjoy reading about the latest trends in teaching. Okay, so I'm sharing an interest, but with a connection to my business interests too. OK, so these are some interests which could be connected to your job. Uh, sports, outdoor activities, volunteer work, video games, music, travel, technology, art and clubs and social activities, too. OK, so these are all. Uh, categories of interests that have more detail within them. But as an introduction, they're a good way to help break the ice. Now, how can we connect these to our uh, job? OK, well, let's have a look at some 
uh, columns here. We've got our blue column, which is our hobby or interest, and our green column, which is a soft skill, a soft skill that is related to our work and this hobby and interest. So, for example, the interest of uh, blogging, the soft skill is self-motivated. If I have an interest in rugby, our soft skills are teamworking skills. If we have an interest in chess, uh, soft skills are problem solver. Uh, if I have an interest in cooking, uh, soft skill is creativity, being creative. Then we have perhaps an interest in theater or acting, and this promotes soft skills for interpersonal skills. And then there's another interest there, uh, quite specific, uh, tour guiding. Okay, and a soft skill here, communication skills. So some of these interests are directly linked to soft skills. And soft skills are those personal things that make us good at the jobs that we do. Okay, so keep in mind that communication is essential in the business world. If you speak more than one language, highlight your communication skills and your ability to connect ideas and people. Mention your soft skills when working collaboratively with colleagues, partners and customers. Yes, these Soft skills are the things that make us good at our jobs. They're the things that help us do that very well. Okay. So another thing we can do in a present in a self presentation in a way to introduce ourselves is to talk about the future. Okay, our future goals or aspirations. For example, I am currently working towards a future goal to improve my skills and contribute more to the team. Okay, I'm currently working towards future to improve my skills and contribute more to the team. Okay, and then we want to give a closing remark. Okay, we want to summarize our introduction and express intention to collaborate. Okay, for example, I look forward to working together and contributing to the success of our team. I look forward to working together and contributing to the success of our team. Okay, well, we've got some great uh, comments and observations uh, coming through, guys. So fantastic work. Well done. Now, uh, we're going to uh, be finishing in just a moment, but let's continue. Okay, so we're coming towards the end of the lesson now. We've looked through uh, today's conference lesson for self-presentation, how we can present ourselves. And we've looked at all the different aspects that can help us do that. Now, there are some um, resources here available with Circle Day Long in order for you to continue this. Um, we've got some e-learning uh, modules to help with that. And we've also got an article from the CDL blog there as well. But um, that is it for today. I have to say, guys, I'm really happy. There's been some great interaction uh, in the chat today, and uh, it's been a very enjoyable experience uh, for me. I hope that you've been able to uh, pick up on some of these uh, aspects. And by all means, please check out the um, recording on the CDL website after it has been published. But all there is left for me to do 
is to say thank you from me and from the CDL team. So really good. Oh, I have a question. Okay, Bernard, what is your question? Hi, Bernard. Do you have a question? Yes, yes. <laughs> I have an, uh, any question for you. Sorry, but I think that um, the most interesting we have on the job is the communication with people, mm -hmm. internal teams, customers, sub subcontractors, yeah. etc. For me, it's it is the most the most important. It's it's the key factor. Yeah. for you communication it is yeah. a very important uh part of business of course it is and for any job yeah yeah mm. absolutely and mm. um this lesson today of course focused on that initial meeting that self-presentation that we have to give a good first impression um but yeah i completely agree bernard it's a very key key issue uh, in business and work in general jobs and perhaps even in life as well Yes. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, well done. Thank you very much. Thank you for your question. Um, so again, thanks everyone for coming in today. Uh, I'm going to be uh, stopping the recording in a moment. By all means, have a look at the recording uh, at a later date on the CDL website. But uh, it's time to say goodbye, guys. Bye. So I Thank hope you to right see. There. Thank Bye. you very much. I hope to see, see you all again here very soon. You don't have a time. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Take care. Bye. Bye.